And if David Williams calls, it's all over. Greg Raymer would be the champion. Call. And Williams will call. The cards are turned. Raymer wins it all. Yeah! Raymer has bested the biggest tournament field in poker history. He wins the $5 million and is the 2004 World Series of Poker Champion. Well, as we well know, one man not afraid to celebrate. Right there on the left of your screen is Mike Matisau finding himself in a big hand with this man, Greg Raymer. Greg from Connecticut. Oh, talk about evil eye, Norm. If this guy walks into a train station looking like that, I'm taking the bus. <laughs> Raymer, glasses and all, has put down a 20,000 chip raise with two sevens and a straight draw on the board. Matisau comes over the top with a 40,000 chip raise. Putting a lot of pressure on Raymer. Raymer considers, does he want to lose that many chips here? Nope, he folds it. You gotta stop me, buddy. I'm gonna bust you if you me. Matisau taunting Raymer here. All right, Mikey. You ain't playing with kids, buddy. All right, Mikey. He's not got balls of steel. He's got one to speak. Steel balls. I got big cojones. You got little cojones. Talk about him, Mike. <laughs> Talk about yourself all you want. He's joking around. We know. I'm just joking. Does it? Uh oh. Ah. Uh, he doesn't understand your joke, man. Uh, I'm sorry, bro. I'm just messing with you. Raymer just scribbled in his notebook. Seat number one is a jerk. Many players, when I'm wearing those glasses, will say they just can't look at me. It's, it's too disconcerting, it's just too annoying to stare me down. I look at his eyes and I'm confused. Many players, if they're uncomfortable, maybe they'll make a, a bad decision. I probably would have moved in if it wasn't for those glasses. They just, I know, they're amazing. When you're looking down, at the, the hologram really doesn't show. So if I put them on for the first time and I look up at you, and then it just, bam, I've seen people just jump. Raise all in. One guy actually yesterday um, at the beginning of the day was like, you know, oh God, don't look at me with those. You're making me sick to my stomach. Can you take a few glasses so I can see what's cooking? I don't really do it because I think it adds a significant edge to my game. But if it adds any at all and it's fun, why not do it? He is in the small blind. Ace Jack, two diamonds. And he'll put in 36,000, a raise from Raymer. Call. Matisau will make the call, will go to the flop. 10 9 3, a pair of nines now for Mike. All in. Raymer acting decisively and aggressively again, going all in on just a draw. He's got the nut flush draw and two over cards against the pair of nines. Count that. And Matisau apparently considering risking most of his chips with a pair of nines. And these two dancing again, and they've had a lot of frays between each other. About 230,000, huh? Well, if I'm right, I'm a chip leader. If I'm wrong, I'm hurting. Mike, you always had faith in your reads, buddy. You always had faith in your reads. Don't let your reads let you down one time this time. Please don't let it be wrong. If Matisau calls, Raymer's tournament life is at stake here. 230,000, right? 241,000. <laughs> How much? 241,000. Just that? That's it? Have I counted it right? I told you I was going to bust you when you came after me, didn't I? Don't let me be wrong, God. Call. Mike the Mouth will risk about two thirds of his chips to try to Don't knock out Raymer. Oh God, no diamond, baby. Don't let me get unlucky. One time, baby. Blank on a turn, dealer. Do blank. Turn card two of diamonds, and that gives Greg Raymer the winning flush. Yes. How satisfying it must be for Raymer. I play to win, baby. I play to win. You got to get 26 million in chips. I play to win. And that rips the heart out of Mike Madison, not to mention two-thirds of his chips going to Raymer. You know why I called him before the flop? Because I knew what he had before the flop. Thank you for busting me, Mike. But I knew he had nothing. He didn't have exactly nothing. He actually did have a draw. Don't make a difference. Right? It's going to be more hard work to get the money. You don't understand. I go with my, I know what's going on. See, not many people have enough 
to put it all in that much chips right there against a big stack. Not many. The unique look that is Greg Raymer sitting at the outer tables now. We watched his masterful use of his many chips at our feature table in a previous round. Raymer was dealt a pair of aces here and has moved all in against Marcel Lusk. And of course, we remember Raymer from his matchups against Mike Matisau. He got the better of that, and he's got the better of this hand right now. Plus, his glasses match the shirt. Very tasteful. Cool. 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 Marcel will call. Raymer went in with 333,000 chips. He's in a dominant position over Marcel Lusk in this hand. So Greg Raymer and Marcel Lusk to the flop. It comes out, two queens and a seven, no help for Lusk. All but over for Marcel. He'd need running kings or a jack 10 to make a straight to win this hand. And the turn card. It's a seven of spades, and that is going to win the hand for Greg Raymer, doubling up on Marcel Luce. Boy, a tough hit for Marcel. And an important win for Greg Raymer with those chips. He's now among the top 10 in chip leaders. The familiar snake eyes of Greg Raymer on the outer tables holding a pair of jacks. He's made a bet that could put Tobias Pearson all in. Oh. All in. And that's exactly what Pearson does with his two tens and behind in the hand. Pearson in trouble right now, four to one underdog. And smart to be getting his jacket because he's on his way out. Ready for the flop and now Pearson with a set of tens. Pearson can sit back down now. Opa with an eight of spades on the turn, a new set of problems for Pearson. He's still ahead in the hand, but Raymer can knock him out with a jack or a seven or a spade on the river. Yeah! Greg Raymer gets the winning flush on the river. Over to Greg Raymer, who just knocked out Mike McLean, and Raymer with ace 10. Oh. He's going to try to do the same to Matthias Anderson. Matthias will have company. And now he's preparing for his river dance. Uh, Raymer was a big underdog to McLean. He is a big underdog here, but Matthias, tournament life at risk. No tag, no tag, come on, Kay. Oh, he had a lot more than I thought he would have there. I thought he might have raised there with any ace. Now the flop. Anderson and Raymer. Queen, 7 9, no 10 in there. No 10. Matias is safe at the moment. The turn card. Jack, both now with straight draws. Yeah, Matias is not out of harm's way yet. Raymer can knock him out with a king or an eight on the river for a straight. Now the river card. Oh, it is an eight. 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 eight! Greg Raymer makes his queen high straight and knocks off a second player here at the championship table. So that's what Matthias Anderson sounds like when he loses an all-in. So Fossil Man living large, knocking off two straight players in hands in which he started as a big underdog. And Greg Raymer, our chip leader, with an ace-queen offsuit. He will bet 200,000 chips. Harrington and Glenn Hughes will fold to Josh Arie in the small blind. King nine suited. And his patented sloppy call. Over to Al Crux, bracelet winner in 1996. Crux in the big blind, and he decides to call with his ace nine offsuit. Three to the flop. Raymer and Crux pair their aces. And Josh, who paired his king, checks. Al Crux will check also. Greg Raymer now to act. I don't see him as a checking kind. <laughs> and he comes out with a half a million chips. Josh likes his kings and he'll call. I'm all in. And Al Crux going all in. And Al Crux makes his stand with his aces, but his kicker is not as good as Raymer's. He's going to have to hope that Fossil Man drops out of this. The family of Al Crux, who have ridden with him on his roller coaster professional poker life. Praise. Oh, and Fossil Man wow. going nowhere. Raymer pushes in a million and a half chips, calling Al Crux and putting the heat on Josh Arie. Oh, Josh has that look. It's your party, and I'm not invited. And he gets out of the way. So Raymer and Crux to the turn. Greg Raymer, the chip leader, with a huge advantage over Al Crux. And Crux needs a lot of help to stay alive here in the main event. He is a huge underdog. Come on, baby. Now the turn card. 
Three of spades, nothing for Al Crux. And this is what it comes down to for Crux. To stay alive, he will need a nine, or there would be a split pot if there's a three on the river. It's a seven, and it's the end of the line for veteran Al Crux. And would win the hand, maybe 225,000 from Arie to Greg Raymer, who will call from the button. Dan Harrington. Guaranteed another million here at the final table. 10-6 offsuit. Yeah, that's a bad hand in blackjack and poker. Over to Glenn Hughes from Scottsdale, Arizona. I'm all in. He's all in, Lon. With about a million and a half chips. Now to Josh Arie, who will fold his threes. I think we got a race if I call. A coin toss. Rock and roll. Came to gamble. Fossilwind's been calling this situation all day. Big stack poker. Okay, I'll call. And he does it again. Raymer with his pair of fives. Hughes, king, queen with his tournament life at stake. You could, you could say you busted everybody but one person so far. I'm the only one who's busted so I don't care. Raymer has been the force at this table. Now with a flop, he still leads with his fives. A jack, king, or queen? Give me a jack, king, or queen. You know what he needs to stay alive. Not the 10. Jack, king, or queen. Come on, Dealer, you can do it. You can do it. Give it to me. The river card. Give it to me, Dealer. It's a nine, not a nothing. Glenn Hughes is gone. Congratulations. You were great. You played great. You played great, too. A million dollars. Presto! So Glenn Hughes goes out in fifth place, but a million dollar consolation. Not every there it is, the gallery of winners. And there are four players left hoping to reserve a place where one has already left his mark. I don't care how nonchalant they act, they're intimidated by me being at the table. It gives me a huge edge. I've got as much experience this late in the tournament as anybody but Dan. I'm out here to take this money home. I let other people make mistakes and try to capitalize so I can punish them for it. Whoever wins is considered the best in the world. And you don't want to get into a hand with me unless you're pretty sure you're going to win. Josh Arie is the short stack at this table. David Williams, 23 years old, eight and a half million chips. And Greg Raymer has been leading this table all day, almost 15 and a half million chips. And he's the senior citizen at this table at age 39. Greg Raymer bets 250,000 chips with Ace Queen offsuit. His wife, Cheryl, anxiously looking on. David Williams with an Ace Eight. And he will call. Josh Arie got at least a nine, a couple of nines. This is the moment for Josh Arie. 1.305. All of his chips are in the pot, his tournament life on the line. Call. Raymer has done this all day. He can risk about 10% of his hmm. chips. Interesting. To try to knock out another player. Call, let's triple him up. David Williams is not gonna play. It's a race. So Raymer with his ace queen, Arie with two nines to the flop. I ain't won one yet. Why start now? Raymer has run good in these situations. And here comes the flop. Oh! oh! Trip Queens. He's played well, but he has really been lucky in these heads up coin flips. And now Josh will be looking for a nine. The three and the darkness closing in on Josh. A nine and a nine only keeps Josh's World Series hopes alive. The river card. And the World Series is over for Josh Arie. You were my toughest opponent for time. all time. You were the one to beat. Hey, buddy, I was pulling for you. I was busted, brother. And I wasn't even going to be shady and call and check it down. No boys, brother. Fossil Man takes out another player here at the final table. Who can doubt it? Come on. Mm. Now David Williams with an ace four off suit. And he will come out with 300,000 chips. Greg Raymer, first look at his hole cards. Two eights. You always love a pocket pair and heads up. 
Raymer has a lot of chips to choose from, <laughs> and he will make the call only. Raymer with a 2-1 to one advantage going to the flop. It comes out 4-2-5. David Williams pairs his 4, but he still trails Raymer's 8. Williams does pick up an inside straight draw. Raymer checks, and David Williams bets 500,000. He likes his hand. Middle pair, straight draw with the ace. 1.6. And Greg Raymer likes his hand even more. Great read from Fossil Man. He will raise 1.6 million, and he's got the best hand right now. David Williams already reaching for chips. We have seen him work so quickly throughout this tournament, and here he is making the call right away. Williams sees low cards on the board, figure they would not help Raymer. What he doesn't figure is that Raymer does have a high pocket pair. Shirley Williams in her most anxious moment of the whole tournament. Same could be said for Cheryl Raymer. Fossil Man looks at that board and figures the only thing that could worry him is a higher pocket pair for Williams, and he doesn't think he has it. And now the turn card. It's a two, which pairs the board. Williams keeps improving his hand, and that's very dangerous because he still trails Greg Raymer. Two and a half. Raymer bets two and a half million. And immediately David Williams calls. Talk about being pot committed. Williams has put a boatload of chips in. In fact, he's put in 40% of his stack into this pot. What a long way David Williams has come to be at this point of the tournament. With 17 players left, he had under 200,000 chips. Raymer had that on day two. Williams, a four to one underdog as we go to the river. He can still come up with the best hand if he gets a four for a full house. A three would give him a straight. An ace would give him aces up. River card, another two. Now both players have full houses. Raymer has the better full house. He can only lose if he folds. All in. And he's all in. And that would put David Williams all in. And if David Williams calls, it's all over. Greg Raymer would be the champion. Call. And Williams will call. The cards are turned. Raymer wins it all. Yeah! Raymer has bested the biggest tournament field in poker history. He wins the $5 million and is the 2004 World Series of Poker Champions. <laughs>